hashtag natural glam. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So today is a very minimalistic makeup look. It's super natural, super quick to achieve. It will take you literally five to ten minutes if ten minutes if you're taking your time, five minutes if you're in a rush. It takes me five minutes and I'm kind of just dawdling a little bit because I just know the steps so easily. I did take a little bit longer because I am chatting with you guys in this video so a little bit longer than what I usually would take. The reason why I love this makeup look so much is because you can still see my freckles. It doesn't look too intense. If you're in natural sunlight, it will just look really soft and just like a nice soft glam. It's something I like to wear like an everyday basis. It's not heavy on the skin. It just feels nice. There's no foundation in this look, guys. It's also great if you guys have acne skin because I show you how I've been covering it up. Nothing too technical. It's just like a simple thing that I've been doing. And I just find it just gives you a bit more of something something. So without any more rambling on, let's get to it. Okay, so let's start with our little bare base. Okay, so it's going to be a really simple tutorial today, guys. It's literally like a five minute makeup routine. Like It is so snappy and so quick. I don't really do a lot to the skin. As you can see, I do have quite a few breakouts and acne scars and things. But basically, you guys who do have acne can use this routine as well. You don't need a flawless base to be able to achieve this. To achieve a really, like, airbrushed look to my skin, like, guys, I swear, I just can't talk about this enough. It's the uh, Urban Decay Self-Adjusting Complexion Primer. This one is incredible to create, like, a blurred effect. It looks like your skin is photoshopped. It's so smoothing and it gets rid of any redness. If you have rosacea, it's perfect for that because it just literally creates an even tone to your skin. Like, literally looks like you've been through the filter on Instagram and you just look safe for, like, so airbrushed and so amazing. It's amazing. I just love it so much. And, guys, like, do you just see the difference? It's still sitting on my skin, so I'm just going to let it soak in for a bit. But it is so much smoother. My pores, like, disappear. And this actually helps with the texture as well. It helps to kind of smooth over it so when the products that we put on top go on, they actually glide a lot more smoother and they don't cling to any dry patches or texture or anything on your face. I really, really, really like this primer. So when I'm letting my primer just set in, I go in with some lip balm to kind of just help moisturize my lips because I won't be going in with anything, like, too like intense on the lips today. I just want to have a nice plump base. So I just like apply it on so I can kind of settle in and moisten my lips as I do the rest of my makeup. Finally for primers, I'm going to take my Skindinavia Makeup Primer Spray in Oil Control. This just really helps to create like a nice controlling base to stop my oils kind of going crazy throughout the day because I do have oily skin. This step isn't necessary if you guys don't have oily skin. I just like to use this to help stop getting that greasy look to my skin throughout the day. So the first thing I like to do guys is apply a bronzer to my skin. I know I'm not doing foundation or anything like that today. I'm going to go in straight in right off the bat with some bronzer. So what I take is a cream bronzer because I find that creates the most natural like finish to my skin because this is a very natural makeup look. So I'm taking my Hoola Quickie Contour Stick bronzer stick thing from Benefit and place that on all the perimeters of my face where I'd naturally get the most sun. And I'll bring it on my neck and like chest area as well, just because I like to have an all rounder effect. And I kind of under the lip as well, like I place it there to create a more powdered effect to my lips. And I'm going to take my beauty sponge to blend it in. You guys can use whatever you want, like a brush as well. Because we haven't got any foundation underneath, it's going to apply quite pigmented to the skin. So you want to kind of use something that's going to absorb some of the product as well. So if you do go a bit heavy handed like I do, it absorbs it so it creates more of a natural finish. Don't mind the birds, by the way, guys. They're just having a bit of a talk, a bit of a tweet around. I kind of like listening to them, though, to be honest. It's very soothing. And blend it around the sides of your neck, too, so they don't have a defined line. It just fades in. So now that we're all bronzed up, I'm going to go in with highlight before I conceal. So I'm going to take my... Which highlight do I want to go in with today? That's the actual question. So I'm going to go in with my Master Chrome Highlight from Maybelline in the shade Iridescent. You guys can go in with whatever liquid highlight or powder if you want to. I like to always use liquids before I go in with powders just because it creates such a natural finish to the skin. 
And I take my beauty sponge as well to blend this in. Just on the very high points of the skin. Now this is a, more of a pinky base highlight rather than like a golden one. The um, Natasha Denona Body Glow is also like a liquid highlight, highlighter that I use. But I wanted something that would stand out a little bit more. And I find this one does. I was just, sometimes I'll go in with a Natasha Denona one. But today I just felt a bit more extra. I go along the bridge as well as the tip of my nose. I don't like to highlight my brow bone like above the brow or anything just because I have like a massive pimple here and I just don't I feel like it makes me look oily because I can tend to get more oily skin so I just usually do the cheekbones and nose and like I'll do the cupid's bow sometimes uh, but I'll keep away from the chin with all the texture and above the brow just because it makes me look oily but you guys it's up to you your skin type so you do what you want, B. Now it's time to conceal. So once I've highlighted in bronze, I go in with concealer because it's the last step with like the liquids. So I'm going to take my Instant Age Rewind Concealer in the shade Medium Moyen because it's the closest to my natural skin tone. And I'm just going to apply these under the eyes. I leave my lids bare because I have naturally kind of more darker lids. I don't usually like to touch them for a more natural look because it already looks like I have shadow on them. So it's just one less step to do. So I just apply it underneath my eyes and I also conceal over any blemishes or breakouts or anything that I really want to kind of hide. And I also carve out my cheekbones a little bit too. And then I'm just going to blend out the edges, not the top of it, just the edges with a little buffer brush. This is from Zoeva. Always make sure to get those inner corners because that's where you tend to get the most purple tones. Of course you guys can colour correct if you want, but I don't, I don't feel I need to and for a more natural look I don't bother. Like it's just another step that you just don't really need if you're in a rush. And carving out those cheekbones just makes it that one more step towards a bit more glam because you've got a bit of a contour as well as a bronzer going. And you're just using less products at the same time, like you won't have to go in with a contour powder or cream or anything. It's just done so easily. And I just also find going with concealer also helps me cover up if I've done a bit too much bronzer on the nose area, which I can tend to do a little bit. It just kind of evens out the tones a bit more, so that's why I like to do concealer last. And look at that, like, it's just so much better when concealer is added. It just looks so much more fresh faced and awake. Oh! And then for powder guys, I'm just going to take my Glips Pressed Powder in 21 and press that in with a dry beauty sponge to really just kind of push it into the skin to set it, set that concealer. I'm going to push it into my T-zone and also on that little blemish where I've concealed to help stop from getting oily throughout the day and set that little baby in place. I definitely set over my breakouts. Sometimes I do, like, I don't know, some routines I've done where I've left my breakouts bare because they can tend to be quite dry, but mine aren't dry anymore, especially if I'm using that Joba Joba oil that I talked about in my Covering Acne 2018 routine, which I'll link up here. I find that they're actually not crusty or dry anymore. They're just there. So, I'm just kind of setting over them to make sure that that concealer doesn't move and also just add a little bit more coverage to them and I'm just pressing all of that powder into the skin like I said wherever I've concealed so under those cheekbones then I take my um, Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and just spritz my face to lock that powder in place so finally for brows, I'm very blessed where I have quite a nice shape and fullness to my brow. So really all I do is just go in with a tinted brow gel to help keep them in place. If you guys find you don't have a full brow or you like to kind of do a bit more to them, then feel free in the step to do more. But because usually I'm doing this in a rush and I don't want to look too glammed up, I just whack this through them. There we go. Our brows are done. That's how quick and easy that is. Like it's so quick. It takes me like two seconds. So finally, basically all I do is add a bit of powdered highlight to my cheekbones and on the tip of my nose. I don't do any 
really anywhere else. I won't apply it to my forehead, chin, anywhere I've got texture. I also like to apply a bit to my cupid's bow and like bottom of my lip to give it a bit of something, a bit of pizzazz to it. I don't know, I don't usually apply anything to my lips besides that lip balm, so I like to give it a bit of extra glow, a bit of something there. So I'm going to take my Master Chrome highlight in the shade Molten Gold. I usually change up my highlights because I just, on an everyday basis, I like to kind of look a bit more glowy, look a little bit less glowy in different things. Sometimes I'll use my Violet Voss highlighting trio, sometimes I'll even use Shimmer Shimmer, the eyeshadow, for a bit of a highlight, but today I thought I'd keep it more drugstore for you guys. I just add a smidgen under the very high point of my brow bone too. I mean you guys can add an inner corner highlight too but I don't know, I just haven't really been wanting to do that lately. I kind of feel like it adds a bit too much, I, like for me anyways. I won't even bother with mascara either, like this is literally it guys, like it can be done and dusted out the door. And with my highlight I actually don't want it too intense for like an everyday thing so I just do a little bit of like a swipe. I don't keep applying it, keep applying it, and because that Maybelline one can be quite intense, I don't apply too much, just a soft little bit. Even on the lips, I haven't done like as heavy as I usually do it, because I do want this to be more natural. Then I finish off with one more little spritz from my Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, and literally that is me done. Ah, oh! So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a big thumbs up for me. I really hope you did enjoy it. And subscribe down below if you haven't already so you guys can join my YouTube fam. And like, I can see you in my next video. <laughs> Otherwise guys, I did hope you enjoyed this video. I have pre-filmed this makeup tutorial. So if you guys are commenting down below and I haven't replied back to you straight away, I am sorry. I am still thinking about you. I'm carrying you all with my heart in with my heart. But I'm currently away. I'm travelling around Greece. So I will get back to you when I can. Um, just know that I am thinking about you. I'm not forgetting, like, just ignoring you. I do want to reply back as soon as I can. Hi. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you soon. Bye.